in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hey guys welcome to ServiceNow four minute video for developers in this lesson I will show you how exactly you can do rest integration with Python that means in Python language now this is the same rest Explorer and we have already same table selected and the query parameters which I was showing you in the previous session now here you don't need to change anything we can use the same URL however we have to use Python language now how exactly you can use Python language now here is we have code samples under code samples you will see different links for different languages and that's the best functionality of ServiceNow for doing integrations that means it is making integration really possible and simple so you can see it is showing you the script in ServiceNow script curl language Python Ruby JavaScript Perl and PowerShell now I have to use Python language so I will click on Python now this will automatically create the script whatever URL you have prepared it will automatically create it in this particular language you don't have to do anything to create that particular uh, script in Python language or any other language you want to use so what I will do I will just copy this script so I will do a copy now I want to run this Python script for that I have another application that is PyCharm where we will run this script and see what kind of response we are getting from ServiceNow so what I will do I will click here and I will create a Python file and I will name it as SAS demo and I will click OK I will paste the whole script I have now here we have that URL now the main thing you have to change you don't have to change anything right here if yeah if you want to do more customization in Python after getting the data then and if you're a Python developer then you have to do it else you just need to change the username here so I will change the username so that I can connect to service now and then I will put the password And what I will do, I will just run this script. When I will run this script, you will see in the right hand side is running. It is sending the query to ServiceNow. That is, it is doing a request to ServiceNow. And you can see we have received successfully. The response is right here. As of now, it is showing you one record. However, we can change this as well. And how exactly we can do that, I will show you. I will go to end. Now here, I will add 10. When I will add 10, the limit has increased to 10. And if you remember, for David Miller and active equal to true, we had five records. Now I will run this script again. When I will run this, it will again send a request to ServiceNow. And now you can see we have this data in JSON. And you can see that's what we have. So it is returning the data in JSON. And we have this response right here with five incident records. Now, how exactly you can create a record and get the response from Python? That means from in Python language, you can create any incident or like a record in any table in ServiceNow with the help of table API. For that, I will go back to my REST API Explorer. I will change the met method this time and I will click on post because that will be creation of the record. I will select the table and the same table I want to go for that will be incident. Now here I will pass some, I will make it true, this one, because I want all those display values. And I have these uh, sysperm fields, means what exactly I want to return. So maybe I will return just short description. I will get it. I will click on save, uh, maybe number as well, because that's also important. Now I will go here, click on save. And here the request body. So how exactly so that means you can create the request body as well so maybe I will put short description as test via Python and I will add oh that's it I will click on Python I will copy the whole script I will go to PyCharm and I will replace this whole script 
I will paste it. I will mention the username. I will put the password. And now I will click on run. Let's see what happens. When I will click on run, it is sending the request to ServiceNow to create the record. And we have received 201. The status is 201. That means it has created the record. And we have received this number 10025. Short description is also there. Test with Python. So we will go into ServiceNow and we will see whether this record was created. So I will go to incident table. I will click on all and I will check whether that incident was created. Yes, test via Python incident is created. So that means test is successful via Python. Thanks for watching my video. Please put your comments for any questions. Thank you.